The Special Investigation Team, SIT of the Criminal Investigation Department, CID, took a significant step on August 23rd by filing a charge sheet against former Member of Parliament Prajwal Ravana and his father, Emily H.D. Ravana, in a highly sensitive case that involves allegations of rape and sexual harassment. According to a report from News 18, it is expected that three additional charge sheets will be filed against Prajwal Ravana in the near future. Shockingly, the JDS MP is accused of sexually assaulting a staggering 56 women, with four brave victims having already filed formal complaints against him. These charges are extremely serious and demand the strongest of legal actions. The specific charge sheet recently submitted by the set to a special court for public representatives specifically relates to a distressing case involving the alleged sexual assault of a domestic worker employed by the family. It must be mentioned that this charge sheet is no ordinary document. It spans over a massive two zero zero pages and contains statements from approximately 150 witnesses. Moreover, it contains an array of valuable evidence, including spot inspections, biological and physical evidence, scientific analyses, and crucial digital data. Expert opinions were also sought and considered before the finalization of the charge sheet, according to the SIT. In light of the gravity of the allegations, the father of Prajwal Rivana, H.D. Rivana, who is the son of former Prime Minister and JDS, leader H.D. Dev Gowda, has been charged under sections 354 and 354A of the Indian Penal Code, IPC. While these charges are indeed serious, it should be noted that his son, 33-year-old Prajwal, faces even more severe charges under sections 376, 376 to 2K, 354, 354A, and 354B of the IPC. These charges denote the severe nature of the crimes allegedly committed. It is saddening to note that Prajwal Ravana recently ran as a candidate in the Lok Sabha elections from Hassan as part of the NDA but was unsuccessful. However, this is not the only dark cloud surrounding his name. Just before the second phase of the Lok Sabha election, on April 26, explicit videos depicting Prajwal allegedly sexually assaulting multiple women surfaced on social media. These shocking videos compelled the chairperson of the Karnataka State Commission for Women, Nagalakshmi Chowdhury, to request an investigation, which ultimately led the Congress government to launch a formal inquiry. The charges leveled against Prajwal Rivana and H.D. Rivana are nothing short of serious and heinous the charges sheets and extensive evidence presented by the SCT make it clear that a thorough investigation has taken place. Now it is up to the courts to ensure justice is served and that the victims are given the support and closure they deserve. The public expects accountability and strong legal actions to be taken against those responsible for such abhorrent crimes.